criteria for KSET exam. So before going to start, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for upcoming videos so that you will get the notification. So here, uh, as we know, KSET 2023, there are uh, two papers, general paper and subject paper. So qualifying marks, um, you should know how, how to qualify the exam and what are the marks that you need to score. So as they have given for general uh, merit or GM category, 40% aggregate marks in all the two papers taken together, they have to score. Including paper 1 and paper 2, they have to score. 40% okay and if other categories as CST or uh, 2A, 2B, 3rd B and PWD they have given uh, so here they can score 35% of aggregate marks in all two papers so 40% for GM and other categories they have to score 35% so According to this uh, percentage, you can calculate how many marks you can score. So paper 1, it is for 100 marks carrying 50 questions and paper 2, 200 marks carrying 100 questions. So if 40% is for GM students, okay, then if you take paper 1, paper uh, 1 how many marks 100 so 100 means 40% uh, how much it will be 100 into 40 by 100 ok so just you can uh, see here 40 marks you have to score in first paper hmm? uh, among 100 marks you have to score 40 marks and paper 2 if you take for GM paper 2 that is 100 into uh, for, uh, sorry 200 is 200 into 40 that will be how much so it so 80 marks you have to score in uh, paper 2 so 80 plus 40 how much 120 marks you have to score for GM category ok then uh, what about other category so 35% means uh, just you can calculate paper 1 and paper 2 so in paper 1 they have to score 35 marks using above formula you can calculate 35 marks for others ok other category 35 marks in paper 1 and in paper 2 uh, 35 into uh, 200 divided by 100 if you do you will get 70 marks ok 70 marks they have to score in paper 2 then total marks for other category it is 105 marks they have to score so if you take a total uh, marks of including paper 1 and paper 2 300 300 marks if you take for GM you can calculate 
that is 40 percent divided by 100 so 120 marks they have to score if you uh, take the calculation for 300 marks then also you should uh, you are going to get 120 marks so if you take uh, according to uh, gender paper and subject paper you can calculate and you will come to know the how many marks you have to score so 120 marks including paper 192 for gm category for other category if you include both the papers if you calculate for 300 marks into 35 divided by 100 okay so 3 into 105 you have to score 105 marks that is for other category so who will qualify this exam by scoring 20 marks or 105 marks for other category uh, among them those who have qualified 6% of the candidates are going to be uh, considered or eligible uh, for the cassette exam okay so only 6% are going to be uh, considered or eligible for the cassette exam so this is the um, eligibility and qualifying criteria for cassette exam uh, so I hope you will get the idea about how to score marks in paper 1 and paper 2 so I have mentioned clearly I hope uh, this video is helpful for you if this is helpful uh, for you this information is useful for you please subscribe my channel and also like and share my videos thank you for watching